Not monitors are one of those bands who are going to suffer constant puns because of their name, and they say that people get the wrong impression because of it. Jake Harding and Mark Monitor explain what they're really all about. Something that only a couple of bands are doing nowadays, you know, definitely in London, there's only one or two bands that are doing. Um, there's not much room for just an energetic guitar band without it being very distorted. I mean, I think to an extent, um, basically, we're just doing what we want to do, and if they, mm -hmm. you know, if they happen to like us, then mm -hmm. that's all, you know, all well and good, and hopefully they're going to like us. But we're not really trying to gear ourselves to mm -hmm. someone coming to see us, particularly. You know, it's more we're doing what what satisfies us, and obviously, as you know, there's people that it's, it's the same with them. I mean, I'd I'd go and see us if I wasn't in the band. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you think enough people know about milk monitors? Um. I don't know, we lost a lot of people, sort of, fans because we had a sort of trouble last year when we lost one drummer and then sort of had to get another one in and without realising it we got ourselves into a rut and mm. had to start fighting our way out of that and at that point we'd lost all the people that we'd known in college as, that used to come to the gigs. So we'd lost, you know, we'd lost a large portion of the audience and now we're just starting to have to build up again. Mm. I mean, we just lost another drummer which is a <laughs> bit of a difficulty, you know, problem. blew up. But, um, you know, we're now having to do the work again to get the audience back, and I think there is an audience there. It's just um, partly strange because a lot of people aren't going to come, aren't coming to see us because they think, you know, oh, they had their go last year, you know, whatever. So they they decided not to come again, um, and the new people are taking their time at turning up, sort of thing. So, but there is an audience there. It's just a question of working for it. Mm -hmm. Your biography was quite so concerned with the, the deteriorating looks in the band. Yeah. Is that important to you? Uh, well, the looks or well, the, the deterioration. deterioration yeah. Yeah. Uh, um. Well, the, the image isn't as... I mean, the image is... Basically, I mean, we, we don't want to go on, obviously, looking like members from completely different bands that just happen to be on stage together. So, I mean, there's a certain amount of thought put into it. And, you know, if someone comes on, in with something that, you know, onto its gig with something that we don't like, we usually have a go at him. <laughs> but I mean, it's, we just try not to look, we try to look like we're the same sort of band, but I mean, a lot of that's quite easy anyway, because mm. listening to the same sort of music, you know. I mean, we don't, we don't go, we haven't got a band image that we would wear on stage that we wouldn't wear, you know, mm. as they say, walking down the street or whatever, we, you know, it's, we don't change to go on stage or anything like that. Mm. I mean, it's not that specific, I mean, I, I just went and got a very, very short haircut after having my hair long. It wasn't like I had to go to a big band meeting and say, well, lads, you know, what do you think about yeah. this? i just done it. And... Uh, but, I mean, the looks aren't, I mean, we're not all that worried about being pretty boys and sitting up on stage mm. and sort of uh, getting all glammed up or anything like that. I mean, I mean like the touring does take it out of you, definitely, yeah. but, um, I mean, that's as it is. Do you get fed up with sort of various puns on the name Milk Monitors? Um, there's, yeah. When there's new ones, I don't. It's, it's like... It's when they repeat the same ones. The though. most yeah. recent one was um, Milky Way, which I hadn't actually heard. I hadn't partaken that. Milking into. it has been used. Yeah, milking it has been times. used about three times. But it's quite nice when uh, they use, actually use milk monitors as a pun on some other band's name with milk yeah. as well. That's, so that's quite good. But, uh, I mean, we knew, we knew we were sort of, I mean, that's... Well, we knew we were letting ourselves in for it, basically. <laughs> I mean, we've expected it for quite a long time. So, um, I mean, we went through a phase of thinking, oh, we're going to change the name because... Yeah, you know, just because of it. people, what people could say about it, and just thought, no, there's no point, you know. Mm. I mean, we were just going to short, shorten it to the, the monitors, but then we thought, oh, it's, like, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's not worth it, you know, the milk monitors is, is us, basically, mm. you know. the idea of uh, all that involves, i.e. being able to do the music full time. Mm. Um, I'm not sure about the, yes, I'm lying, I do like the idea of the limousines. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's strange, because at the moment, when you're in a band at the moment, it's strange, because you get less money, but you actually end up doing more, because it's not only the gigs, you have to organise everything, organise the mm. vans. And when you get to this sort of super superstar status, it's al almost all that is taken away from you. You just have to go on stage and you get yeah. more money. And in my mind, it would be fairer if we got paid more yeah, now, because we, we need it. Yeah, because this is we do actually much more work now by organising yeah. everything and 
you know, this is where the deteriorating looks come from, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm really, at the moment, what the main sort of ambition just for the near future is, is to be able to get to a stage where we can earn ourselves a wage and we don't have to be sort of working during the day mm -hmm. and then rushing around in the evening trying to get something else organised, doing the gig, and then having to sort of get back and go to work again in the morning, because that, I mean, that is that that sort of actually tires you out, you know, having to do that. I mean, Whereas, I mean, if we just had the sort of the ability to pay ourselves, yeah. then, you know, it'd be brilliant because we could just get so much more done.